So this is, no, we're not having thoughts today, Fauna. You, the island's done, Fauna. We will not be having thoughts, Miss Ma'am. I knew I should have used the dream address. Darn it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're following my channel, then you know it's finally done. It's as done as it's gonna get anyway. This is my challenge island. Every item gotten on this island was done the good old fashioned hard way through time traveling and playing the stock market. There were no treasure islands used on this island and a couple other creators did it with me. You already saw Crispy Crafts Tour and this is my version of the challenge. So let's get started. So if you've been following this island, you know that I did all of my decorating in two weeks yeah so i spent most of the challenge getting items and getting villagers uh two and a half months to be exact is what i spent doing that so here is my entrance when this was made i still didn't have a ton of items um, because i did actually make the entrance in the beginning and then i just stopped decorating for a really long time but here we have a little transportation stop and I thought it would be fun to make a little pumpkin patch over here. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. Nothing too exciting, just a little, little pumpkin patch um, to enter in. Some terraforming um, because it's a natural island. So it is, it, it, there is quite a bit of terraforming on this island. Over to this side, I figure I should take you over here, right? Because there's nothing here. Over to this side, we don't have a whole lot. There was not much real estate to work with on this side of the airport, but we do have the Able Sisters right up there. I'll take you up there in just a moment. And this is um, my pumpkin path. It basically, I used everything I had left on the beaches. So this is the left beach. Uh, nothing too fancy here, just some Halloween decor that leads down the beach. Someday I will get as good as Sammy at terraforming. That day is probably not today. So here is one of the only beaches that I actually decorated and that would be Molly's house. Molly does live on this island. We figured we would just make her a fall villager and we'd just make her spooky, right? So she has her loyal following all over here. The clones, they are worshiping the queen witch right there. I guess she's like a ghost or something. Either way, we have our little um, ducky seance going on on the beach over here. And I, I did decorate Molly's house in all like green. I don't know. I just, it felt good. I just wanted to use the green variety of the pumpkins over here and there we have the creepy clown he is out of his cage okay so i'm gonna go back from where we came because i want to show you the island on the other side so that i can show you the able sisters and nook's cranny before we move it along all right so this is my little shopping district um the able sisters i turned into a little flower shop because it just seemed like a good idea so they're making like flower decor over here we've got like you know a little tree that someone's working on a, a flower arrangement and then here's where they pick their flowers for their artwork right over here and i don't know it just felt like a good idea at the time so that's what we have going on right over here and then here we have our next cranny, which we have with a potion shop because, you know, of course we got a potion shop on our haunted island. So right over here is where you can buy potions from that little genius down over there behind the stall. She's creepy, right? And then here's her siblings over here. I don't know what they did, but they already have a victim. So I wouldn't mess with these girls. These girls, um, they're about as dangerous as they look. They look terrifying and they are. So we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna stay away. They're all over the island. I don't know what I was thinking because they do give me a jump scare now. 
Okay, so here we are down at resident services. Wait, let me hang on. Do I have I don't have a net. Oh gosh, she's still thinking. So here we have resident services. I just decorated it with some pretty um, natural decor. Look at Coco's outfit. She's wearing my outfit. I love it. And we just we just surrounded it with nature. And I kind I like the way that came out. I really do like just having it natural around resident services. Coco looks so cute. Stop that. You stop it, ma'am. Excuse me. I'm going to get away from the thought bubble. No one's leaving this island. They're trapped here now. They are my prisoners. They will not leave. So right here, I turned the rock garden into a river mouth. I just thought it was going to be um, a fun thing to do. So here it is from a little bit of a different view. And I do I do still like it. So that is that much is good. What had happened is that I plan on using only orange and black uh, flowers on this island but the orange tulips make purple and then the the orange hyacinths make purple so i needed a place to use the purple on my island and so i chose right over here we just i just put like a cute little accent island over there nothing too fancy and this is renee's house renee is the owner of the flower shop and um i really like this of course, if you grow lavender hyacinths, you definitely have to make a lavender farm. It's almost a requirement, right? So that is exactly what we did over here with the lavender. We made ourselves a little lavender farm and I love the way it came out. Her house was decorated to match and I love the way that came out with it, with a purple roof. Um, I do think it came out good. So here we are. And on to, if I can. Okay, so on to the beach here in front. The front beach, we just filled with mushies and the leftover um, purple hyacinths. I think they came out good. I, I like the way it came out. It's very simple, but it suits my purpose. It's exactly what I needed. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. So right up here, we have Fauna's house. Uh, Fauna's house was just done as part of the library upstairs. So I'm going to show you that right now. The library is really the main attraction. I did a very simple yard in front of Fauna's house. Okay, so I'm trying really hard not to use any self-deprecating language or verbiage while I'm touring this island. It's really hard for me. So you're welcome. So here we made a little rooftop library behind Fauna's house and I think it's very cozy and quaint. This is some place that I would hang out in real life. With the exception of that, I definitely would not hang out with her. Okay, I'm gonna make my way over to this land bridge over here. Um, here we just have some regular good old natural terraforming. Um, Y'all pretty much know how this goes by now. We did the little cliff top over there. It's all pretty natural. And here we have Ellie's house. Ellie's house was done really simple. So I really didn't do a lot in Ellie's house. I placed it in a location where there wasn't a lot of space to do much with. She is my favorite villager. I love her to bits. Um, she's an absolute angel. I did get her photo on this island and I was super happy about that. I only have like 25 Ellie photos. It's fine. I don't have a problem. It's totally fine. Right over here, we have Coco's gyroid farm. She is farming the gyroids, y'all. And this is the only way into her farm right over here. So we have all of her friends over here singing the song of their people. And I really had a good time making this gyroid farm on stream. Thank you so much to Crispy Crafts for bringing me all of the gyroids. I really appreciate it. Super, super helpful. Um, these are, I think they came out good. I love the little gyroid guys and they're super cute when they're dancing along to the music. So this was totally a vibe. It was a lot of fun to make. Okay, so this land bridge right here was a challenge. I was challenged to use um, six Festivale garlands on my islands. 
They are Twilight Fairy's favorite item. They are not my favorite item, but I was challenged to do it, and y'all know I love a good challenge, so that is what I did with them. So right over here, we have a little overlook with the spooky and ruined items. I actually didn't plan on making anything here, but I ended up with this random hole in the ground and I figured I better do something with it. I could have filled it in, but I don't know. I just felt like this was more appropriate. So moving right along, we have a little um, bus stop right over here. And this right here is on our way to the post office. Our little post office is right over here. It's super cute. I do love the post office custom codes and stuff. And I always love a good post office on any islands, but especially on fall islands. I think they look really good on fall islands. So Grizzly lives right here. I didn't do anything to his house. I didn't have enough time to decorate the villagers interiors. His house was actually perfect as it was for this area already the way it came. So I didn't even have to customize the outside. I think his house was perfect. All right, coming over the land bridge over this way, we have probably the scariest build on the island. Here's our little bus stop over here with a phone booth because you might need to phone a friend. So here we have Pietro's fun house. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about it. This thing terrifies me. Um, Pietro lives here. He's definitely something else. But, yep, this is what I did with Pietro's house. He is living right back over there, and he can stay there. This clown's eyes follow you. Just look at his eyes. You see that? He's, he's creepy. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. I did this for, like, five minutes on stream. Okay, so we're going to move it right along to the little carnival area. This is our carnival area right here. So we just kept this very simple here. Um, I just used a few of the plaza items and um, just some nature. And it seemed to work out just fine. Our little friend looks super creepy peeking through the arch like that. But I decided to use the green and yellow variation of the carnival furniture because it actually looked like it matched my island. And I did make the curtain, the custom code on the building side over there next to the clown to match the plaza furniture. Here we have Cherry's house. She came to my island pretty last minute. Um, we gave her a mush farm, a little tiny mush garden right over there. And I think she fits in perfectly with this island. She does suit the spooky vibes. So all of her friends are hanging out here in her yard, getting into some shenanigans. I'm not going to get mad at them, but I'm also not going to cause any trouble or try not to draw attention to myself. We're just going to come right down this way. So I put my house right next to the carnival. Um, and this is what we have here. We have a little mush circle. This is the very last thing that I did on my island. My house is not decorated, so we're not going to go inside. It actually, it's kind of decorated, but it's not decorated enough for me to feel like I want to show it off. So this is pretty much it for my house. I did surround it with some water terraforming, a few trick-or-treat items, our little spidey friend, because what is Halloween without spiders, of course. And I just like the way my house looks peeking over this cliff right here. I think it looks really good against the night sky. I do like having it on the back of the island like this. Right over here, I made a little reading nook and a little fishing spot for any of the villagers who want to pop on over here. I just thought it would be um, something really cute on this cliff right here. So behind the Able Sisters, I put this little overlook right over here. If you come to the island and you want to see the view down below, you can come over here. You can also go straight down with a ladder right there. And also on this side, there is a pathway over back to Grizzly's house. Um, and that's where that leads. We are behind Nook's Cranny right now for context. So here we have the very last major build on my island. 
This right here is the museum and the last two villagers houses. And of course I turned it into a castle over in the distance. It is so big, I can't even fit it in my camera lens. It's, it's pretty big. So let's go in and look. So on both sides, I did put um, a little cemetery right over there and also on the other side. And then we have this sunken bridge going over or the sunken land bridge. And if you look up from here, you can see Blathers Museum up there. And we used just some statues. One of them's real and one of them's fake. But we used the only two statues that I could find for the Valiant statues. And I put candles on all the pillars because I thought that would look really pretty in the moonlight. So the villagers' houses are completely accessible. You can get in um, right over here. This is Roscoe's house right here. I do love Roscoe. And then on the other side, we have, of course, we have Lucky's house. Why wouldn't we put him by the cemetery, right? Of course, we had to put him by a cemetery. And then I will go show you what it looks like down below. And if you come down this cliff right here, then um, you'll see our little cemetery over here with our little mourners, the little witches. I don't know if they're casting spells on their latest victims or if they're mourning their, their loved ones. And then we put a little bit of a shrine right over here. So this is what the side of the castle looks like over here. Now I did make this little pathway um, going down back here. I do like I, I love these tunnels. I think they're a lot of fun. Okay, so if you go around the back of the castle, you'll come to this area over here, which is our back rocks and our campsite. Those are both right over here. Again, nothing too special, too fancy. I just did a very simple campsite and a very simple little boat here right over here. Like nothing crazy. So from the campsite, you can also get to the other side of this um, of this castle right over here. It is pretty darn massive. I will show you my map and you can see. So this castle is the back of my island. It was the last thing built. It was one of those things that I did until like two o'clock in the morning in order to finish. And for me, when all else fails, I just do some terraforming and hope for the best because I really didn't know what else to do. I was running out of items and I still had these castle items that I hadn't used yet. So there we went with a big old giant castle because, okay, so I forgot to bring you guys down this beach over here. We made a little gyroid choir because of course, right next to the gyroid farm, there's gonna be a gyroid choir. And then we just have this little walkway back here. Um, right next to Pietro's house. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me while I toured this island. I appreciate you so much. I know there's a million places that you can be, and you chose to hang out with me for a little bit while I share this island with you. And I'm going to leave the dream address down in the description below. I would tell you to go follow whoever on socials, except it's me. You can find me on Instagram, X, and Discord, and YouTube, of course. You can also follow me on TikTok. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!